Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on bakery products. In today's session, we are discussing cakes. This is Chef Pranav Bhatt, Assistant Professor, Chitkara School of Hospitality, Chitkara University, Punjab. In this slide, you can see we are discussing about the various cake make making methods. We will discuss various methods in a brief in our next slides. But yes, these sevens are the one which we will be going to discuss. The first one is sugar batter method, which is also known as creaming method. Second is flour batter method, which is also known as two sponge method. Second, third is forming method, which is sponge method. Fourth one is blending method, which is also used in various cake making. Boiled method is the oldest and historian. Sugar water method is oldest, oldest one which has been used for cake making and all in one process when you have no time you can use this method for cake making. Now we are going to discuss all the cake make, making methods in a brief. First one is sugar batter method also known as creaming method. In this method all the fat and sugar is creamed together in practice all the fat should be first blend together either by machine or by hand thoroughly then sugar is added gradually to continuing the process as this will adverse effect the aeration process and it may take extra time to achieve the desired result when adequate aeration is achieved the mixture become very light fluffy and brighter in appearance when adequate aeration is achieved in the fat sugar mixture, eggs are added gradually. Eggs should be at room temperature, which is 70 to 75 degree Fahrenheit. At the time of adding to the cream for small batches mixed by hand, it is good practice to whip the egg to a stiff consistency before adding to the creamed mixture. Although cake shortenings are emulsified type, and emulsifiers in the form of gel can be used for better results. These can be added after about half of the total egg is added or even earlier if the batter shows any sign of curdling. We have also discussed the process over here like you first we will cream fat sugar then we will add liquid sugar milk water essence or color you can add fruits and in the last we will fold the flour into a mixture. The second method is flour batter method. In this method fat and quantity of flour not exceeding the weight of fat is creamed together. Fat should be smooth and plastic state and the flour should be added gradually. The whole mass is whipped till it become light and fluffy. Eggs and an equal quantity of sugar is whipped to stiff froth. This added to creamed mixture of fat and the flour. Although there is less risk of curdling of the batter, still egg mixture should be added in small portions at time and after each addition in it should be mixed thoroughly and then only the next portion should be added. Any color is also added along with this liquid. Lastly, the remaining flour shaped with baking powder is added and mixed during the last stage of mixing. You can see there we are using two stages over here in the process chart. First, we are using fat and an equal quantity of flour and in the next stage we are using egg and equal quantity of sugar. Then both the stages are mixed together and add the remaining sugar with liquid. And the last, the remaining flour which has been left out is being mixed with a leavening agent and the pro process is completed. Blending method. This, this method is suitable for making high ratio cakes in which quantity of sugar is more than the quantity of flour. Usually emulsified type of shortenings and special cake flours are used for making high ratio cakes. In this method, emulsified shortenings flour baking powder and salt are whipped together to a very light and fluffy consistency 
sugar, milk or any other liquid, color, flavor are mixed together and added to the previous mixture. Eggs are added next and the whole mass is mixed in a smooth batter. In our process, you can see there are two stages in which first stage we are just combining fat, flour, baking powder and salt. In other stage, we are combining sugar, milk and liquid except eggs. So eggs are to be used in the last in this method. Boil method. This method is used for making good quality madura cakes and genoys sponge. Butter or margarine is placed in a bowl and heated till it melts and water is added to it. And then it starts boiling and hence it is to be called as a boiling method. The sponge is added to a fat and flour mixture in about 4 to 5 equal parts. After each addition of sponge, it should be mixed thoroughly. Remaining flour can be added this stage. When the mixture is smooth, it is scaled off in a paper lined baking sheet to about 1 inch thickness for making genoise or for making madura cake. The mixture is baked in a mold lined with a grease proof paper. You can also see we have we have shown a two stages structure in our slide and there are two stages. In first stage, we are showing butter, fat and water mixture. In a second stage, we are showing egg and sugar mixture. All these uh, process are combined and in the last we have to add flour and then we have to line it on a uh, pr uh, grease proof paper and we can bake it. So this is the method which has been used for uh, only two of the uh, ma mainly cakes that is genoise or uh, you can say uh, madura cake. Sugar and water method. In this method all the sugar and approximately half the quantity of water is agitated in a bowl till all the sugar is dissolved. Then the remaining ingredients except egg is added and the mixture is cleared. Due to more aeration and better emulsification obtained in this method, the cake so produced have better texture and long shelf life. As you can see, we have a proper process in which the sugar and half quantity of water is added in the remaining ingredients except eggs are added to it and in the last we add this egg which gives the aeration and that fluffiness to the cake. Forming method also known as sponge method. All the cakes which are there are to be prepared by this sponge only. In this process we use egg, sugar, flour and baking powder along with the flavor and essence or color which is required. We beat egg and egg whites both with sugar. We use to aerate it properly. Then we add a essence or color which is required for a cake and then we add flour and baking powder as per the requirement and that has to be baked at 150 degrees Celsius. So this method is basically used for the sponge uh, making. All in one process when you don't have any time and you have to mix the ingredients all together this is the method you can use. In this process all the ingredients are put together and into a mixing bowl. Aeration of mixture is achieved by controlling the speed of mixture as well as the mixing time. Wire whip is used for this operation which ensures faster breakdown of ingredients and helps to achieve good aeration. For making cakes by this method it is necessary to use emulsified type of shortening and special cake flour which should have a soft gluten forming protein, fine granulation and low, low pH. Non emulsified type of shortening will not be able to hold excessive moisture present in the formula. Similarly special cake flour will tolerate the amount of mixing given to the batter without toughening the gluten. After adding all the ingredients in a mixing bowl, the mixing operation is carried out as follows. Half a minute at slow speed. This is done at slow speed so that all the dry ingredients are moistened without flying off from the bowl. Two minutes at fast speed. At this stage, all the ingredients break up and all incorporated evenly throughout the mass. The batter is also well aerated. Two minutes at medium speed. 
aeration achieves during the second stage is not evenly distributed in the batter. By mixing at the medium speed, the larger air cell breaks up into smaller cells and the aeration of the mixture becomes even one minute at slow speed. This is done in order to eliminate any lumps if there are it. So this is the whole process which you have to be followed and this is the speeds which you have to be followed for making all purpose cakes. Nowadays, uh, that pilgrim mixes which are been coming, the cake mixture which are been coming as also a type of all in one uh, process uh, type of cakes. So uh, the mixture which are coming in the market are the one example of this process. So as now we have discussed various histories, various types and various methods of cake making. We have also discussed the ingredients which are being used for making cakes. For the next session, we will discuss at various faults which are there while we prepare the cakes. Uh, for that session, see you again. Thank you very much for this session.